to walking in miracles. God bless each and every one of you. Because nothing is impossible with God. And today we're teaching on the outpouring of a new fire anointing. Are you ready for that? God bless each and every one of you. So hold on to your seat. The Holy Spirit is coming with this fire. To you and wherever you are. Because nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. I'd like to introduce our staff on the set today. It's our usual wonderful preachers, and it's our Robert Mansella, Reverend Robert, Robert Mansella, God bless you. good preacher, and our wonderful, beautiful songbird, Patricia. We're Patricia. so happy to be with you today again. As we said before, this program is about a new fire anointing in 2017. Praise God. Did you know that Jesus was baptized? And the reason he was baptized was so that he could show you and I how to walk in the fire of the Holy Spirit. And every, and every gift that Jesus performed was through the power of the Holy Spirit, not his own godly power. Even though we had that godly power, he used the power of God, the Holy Spirit. Yes, in um, Matthew 3.16, it says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, he went straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending upon him. Like a, like a dove. And John bore him record. This is what John said in Matthew, pardon me, in John 1.32. Uh, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove. And, and it abode upon him. How God, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. So therefore, all the miracles that Jesus performed was the power of the Holy Spirit. He said, um, he saw Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good. Uh, and healing all that were oppressed. All of those who were oppressed by the devil and God was with him. Uh, Tell me, Robert, how do, you, Robert. how do you feel about the Holy Spirit? What, what, if somebody were to ask you to explain the Holy Spirit, <laughs> how would you explain it? <laughs> I would have to tell him that that's the promise of the Father. Amen. The Spirit of the Father comes upon us but and in us. But how did you feel? But how did you feel, Robert? I felt it makes you, it makes you abide by the Word. Because, because it gave me strength to say no to that which I was into before. And that power will continue to grow within you Amen. as you abide in the word. Amen. You know, God the Holy Spirit 
الله الروح القدس was indwelling in many people in the New Testament. انه سكن في عدد كبير من الناس في العهد الجديد. And also in the Old Testament. وكمان في العهد القديم كان بيحل ويفارق. And you know, the Holy Spirit's coming forth upon men was uh, prophesied. وهؤلاء الناس اللي بيحل عليهم الروح القدس كانوا يتنبؤون. And we know that Joel was the one who prophesied it. وعدد كبير زي أيوب أيضا كان بيتنبأ ويؤيل. So, and Joel 2:28. في يؤيل اثنين وعدد 28. And it shall come to pass afterward. أنه سوف تأتي أيام بعد. That I will pour out my spirit. سوف أسكب من روحي على كل بشر. Upon all flesh. كل بشر. And your daughters and your sons shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. So Patricia, tell me, how would you explain the Holy Spirit indwelling within you? How do you feel? I think the important part of it that's very significant is that the Holy Spirit is like a compass internally in ourselves to guide us, to lead us, to make the right decisions, to give us discernment, mm -hmm. to discern about other things so that we can make the decisions that are godly decisions. So you're liking the Holy Spirit to a compass. That's very good. But how did you personally feel with the precious Holy Spirit of God? It's overwhelming, actually. The yes. Holy Spirit is very overwhelming because yes. with the Holy Spirit comes many gifts. And the gifts are tools and also um, ways through these tools that we can grow to become more like Jesus. Yes. He gives us he gives us tools, but you know what? Most of all, he implants love within us, a new kind of divine love. He it's so exciting to feel that love. جديدة, that, love, that love for God and that love for fellow But I'm going to read you some scriptures. Okay, I want to read first of all Romans 8. 14. For as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. We have a flesh and blood family. But I believe most importantly is we have a spiritual family. That is so exciting. We have brothers and sisters in the Lord who feel the same things, who go through the same fights. Fights of faith. And, and John, John describes the Holy Spirit more beautifully think, than any other chapter. And John describes in 1417, chapter 14, verse 17, and Jesus is talking and he's telling the apostles, I'm going to have to go away. It's right before his, uh, the Last Supper. He says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Because it seeth him not. The Holy Spirit is, is looking for people who want him, who desire him. Some people don't even desire God the Father. I'm going to read it over again. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Because it seeth him not. Neither does it know him. But you know him. But you know him. But you know him. For he dwelleth within you. 
He has been with you. He's telling the apostle, the Holy Spirit has been with you through, through my uh, anointing. But he shall be in you. Mm. See, when the apostles were with Jesus, and they were... Um, if they were with Jesus as he was performing miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. They felt the power of the Holy Spirit. They felt the anointing. But the anointing was not inside of them. Because the anointing could not be inside of them until Jesus shed his precious blood and redeemed us. And he says this in John 14, 1. And I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. That means the Holy Spirit is abiding with you even when you're in heaven. God, the, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. How we love the Holy Spirit. How we love him. And he brings us closer to God. And then in John 14, in the first chapter. Yeah, 14, he says, even the spirit of truth uh, whom the world uh, cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither does it know him. But you know him. For he's dwelt with you through me. And he, pretty soon, he shall be inside of you. Mm. And then in 14.8, he says, I will not leave you comfortless. comfortless. I will come to you. See, he said in verse 6, he says, um, and he shall give you, uh, give you another comforter. So Jesus is calling the Holy Spirit the Comforter. Does that mean that he's the person of the Godhead that rocks you? Oh, poor baby. Uh, no. Comforter means strengthener. Uh, he is God's power. And the comfort mm. of the Holy Spirit comes as you manifest the Holy Spirit through power. And then um, John 14, 9 says this. Yet a little while, and the world sees me no more. But you see me. Because I live, you shall live also. And in that day, you shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. That's a very powerful verse. He says, and at that day, اليوم, you shall know that I am in the Father. And you are in me. And I am in you. A connection. God within us. God the Father, God the Son, and God, now God the Holy Spirit. The first part of the Bible, the Torah, speaks mainly of the works of God the Father. And then the second part of the Bible is when Jesus walked upon the earth. Now, the third part of the Bible is coming into the works 
of the Holy Spirit abiding in mankind. John tells us in the 14th chapter, uh, the, the second verse, he that has my commandments and keeps them, he it is that loves me. If you have Jesus' commandments within you, you know them, and you keep them, then that means that you love Jesus. And he that loves me shall be loved of my Father. Um, and we and we will love him. And we will manifest ourselves to him. You know, we're coming to the season of Pentecost. Which is, which is right about now. And you know, the Jews celebrated, celebrated Pentecost, but not the same way we do. Our Jewish brothers and sisters called Pentecost um, Shavuot, Shavuot. And it was 50 days, they celebrated it. The first Pentecost was 50 days after they came out of Egypt. And they came to Mount Sinai where God gave uh, Moses the Ten Commandments. And Moses was on the mountain of Ma on Mount Sinai 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine being in the absolute presence, the presence of God before you 40 days and 40 nights? And as he was on that mountain, God the Father gave him first the Ten Commandments and then the Torah. And the Torah had um, 57 teachings. So Moses got those 57 or received those 57 teachings as he was on Mount Sinai. And when he came down from the mountain, God the Holy Spirit led him into the Torah. Where he was teaching the Torah. So right now, we want to ask the Holy Spirit to come. Aren't you excited about the Holy uh, Spirit? So Pat will sing us a song. And this song is so exciting. So let us celebrate, let us celebrate Pentecost and Shabbat. And Shabbat with our Jewish brothers and sisters. They celebrate it the same time we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit. Come to send upon us. Receive him right where you are. Receive a fresh new fire in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit, come with your fire, Holy Spirit, come with your fire, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. 
مقدسة من قبلك يا رب. يا روح الله تعالى إلينا. يا روح الله القدوس. أنت الأمل الوحيد لينا يا رب في هذه الحياة. أنت قوتنا. الروح القدس يعمل أعمال عظيمة. النهاردة إدي مجال للعمل في حياتك. خلي الروح القدس يتمكن منك ويسكن فيك. قدس تحل علينا خلي روحك القدس ياتي علينا يا رب Will you please repeat that, Malad? You feel like you're being lifted up. هذا الروح عمل الروح القدس يرفع. Yes, Holy Spirit of God, come. Ah, عندما تأتي تعالى يا روح الله إلينا. Can you lightly play it on the guitar, Pat? Lightly. What do you feel God's doing, Robert? بتحس إن الروح القدس بيعمل إيه؟ Lightly play it on the guitar. I feel the Holy Spirit coming upon people. روح القدس بيأتي على ناس دلوقتي. They're lifting their hands up to the Lord. Yes. ارفع يديك النهاردة للرب. The Spirit of God right there in their living room. And as you're feeling that Holy Spirit fire, God is healing you. There's a left ear that just popped open. Some of you have high blood pressure. The Holy Spirit is healing that high blood pressure. Just receive it in the name of Jesus. Lord's touching eyes. He's touching eyes. He's touching eyes. He's healing eyes right now. There's some of you who've had pressure on your forehead and in the back of your head. God is healing that right now, Robert. Lord is healing. I think it's a right leg, a right foot. Did it have pain? How is he healing? فيها يعني ألم. Your your foot is not straight. Your foot is too high. يعني الرجل فيها يعني كذا. The Lord will straighten that foot. يعني 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 تتكلم بالسنة جديدة. So as you're singing, come Holy Spirit. وانت بتقول تعالى يا روح الله إلى حياتي. 
Then you will start speaking another language. <laughs> Oh, the Lord is touching your family. Some of you have family problems with your children. The Lord is healing that right now. Reach out to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is straightening a back. Somebody has a crooked spine and you, you can feel that spine coming in alignment. Uh, that spine is coming in alignment with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Robert? The Lord is touching the esophagus. The ashes, I mean the, um, the acid. Yes. He's healing that acid. Oh, oh, Hallelujah. Thank you. There's some of you have been so depressed, so depressed, and we're going to close this program with Come Holy Spirit with Patricia, and as we do that, feel the fire of the Holy Spirit. But that person who is depressed, that person who is depressed will feel lifted up. Come on, Pat, let's sing to the Holy Spirit. Allah ishfi, al mutabin, al mutalimin, ya Sayyid. Come Holy Spirit, come. Come Holy Spirit, come. Come Holy Spirit. Fuck.